Right, so what you will prepare for mother? Okay, maybe, okay, maybe you say, okay, um, I, I, do you mean like, um, I think, um, you should prepare, right? Like, a cake, okay, a cake, some gifts, okay, some gifts, right, because, um, uh, some birthday gifts, right, okay, and anything else? What do you have in, uh, a, a, a birthday celebration? What do you normally have? Uh, yes, Kajit. Uh, you wanna say anything? Something? Do you wanna say something, Kajit? I think your mic is unmuted. Okay. Uh, any other things? Okay. Uh, do, should we prepare? Or you just want to prepare two things. What other things, you know, we should prepare for our birthday? How about like balloons? Okay, all about decorations. Do you think we should prepare those? Decorations, um, big surprise. Yeah, correct. Okay, we have, we have to have big surprise, right? Okay, so um, what what do you think? Okay, yeah, so so what do you think for a big surprise? Okay, so we, we, we have to decorate, right? Okay. So some gifts, uh, decorations, okay, right? Decorations, correct. Um, yeah, correct. Uh, zhuang something ping. Uh, yeah, correct. So now I think that's called de decorations. Okay, yeah. Uh, you could just order a cake and some birthday gifts for her, and if suitable, you can rent a venue and decorate with full of romantics. Okay, so uh, ro romantic uh, um, this is this is like this is more on like birthday birthday team lah. So I think romantic would be uh not suitable for this. But okay, maybe you, yeah yeah because like romantic is like um you your dad maybe uh giving it to your mom maybe can be romantic lah. But you yourself I think should team it more birthdayish lah. Okay, so yeah, never mind. But very good suggestions, Evelyn. Very very good try. Okay, so order cake. Okay, you can order a cake ah. Okay, one cake means. Put, put, put on cakes, uh, okay? So, C-A-K-E only, uh, all right? And some birthday gifts, okay? Birthday gifts can, because you put some for her, and you can rent a venue, okay? So, yeah, the renting a venue it will be uh, will be answering later, okay? So, we just uh, go one by one first, okay? What you should prepare, say, um, because for a big surprise, okay? And uh, I think you should prepare a cake, some gifts, and uh, maybe, and decorations, okay? Or and fancy, okay? Fancy decorations means um, hen hen hao de, hen hen piao liang de, or hen chu se de xie uh decorations, okay? Uh, for uh, the surprise party, okay? So yeah, okay. So then after that, we answer the next question, okay? The next question is, okay, where do you think the event should be held, okay? So now, okay, now you can think of where, okay, 要在哪里, um, hold like an event. What do you guys think? At your house, okay? So, yeah, okay. So how should we write it in a sentence? Can you give me a sentence? Can you write it in a complete sentence, a full sentence? Um, do we, so, so, so like, okay, um, and if I say decorations for the surprise party, so I just say in your own house, like that, or should we write something else? Should we, how, how should we, you know, write the whole sentence up? Like here, okay, here I say, I think you should prepare a cake, some gifts and fancy decorations for the surprise party. So next one, then you can say. You can say I think or I suppose, okay? I suppose, okay? Okay? I suppose is is the same meaning as I think, okay? I suppose you can uh you can what? You can hold the event, okay? Because hold the event is just um uh, event, okay? You can hold the event okay in your uh own house, all right? Right, so okay, or Evelyn says for celebration menu you should celebrate it at the beach, okay? In your own house, okay, at the beach, okay, also can. Alright, because um uh to to see the sunset, right? Okay, or uh, to yeah, to see the sunset, right? Okay, so yeah, uh any any other um yeah, so you can surprise your mom, you know, by going 
and celebrating her birthday. All right, so yeah, uh, I suppose you can hold the event in your own house or at the beach to see the sunset, okay? So yeah, then we all go to the other question, okay? So wait, let me check how many words this is. Okay, so you, you have written 53 words already, uh, okay? 53 words, okay? So you have a few more words to go, okay? To 80, right? So last one, who else should you invite? Okay, who should Jason invite? Yes, who should Jason invite? Okay, so who do you think Jason should invite? What do you guys think? Who should Jason invite to the party? Uh, Evelyn, what is cognate? Relatives, okay, all right. So, um, as for who you should invite, okay, uh, you can invite your relatives, okay, right? Her mother's friends, very good idea, all right. Uh, you, uh, his mother's friends, I mean, yeah, because we're talking about Jason, like Jason is a, is a, is a guy, okay. Mother's friends, okay, maybe one more. So who should you invite? You can invite your relatives, your mother's friends, and any suggestions? Oh, uh, uh, her mom parents is, 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 your, is your relatives, right? Yeah, correct, uh, Evelyn. Very good. Neighbors and uh, your neighbors. Okay, very, very good. Okay, because her mom parents are, Zanyao, your mom parents are your relatives. Uh, neither mom, mother. Yeah, his, his, his mom's parents are his relatives right? because her, her, the mom, the parents was her grandma, her, the grandmother, right? In a, in, in a sense, yeah. Okay, so yeah, neighbors would be a better choice. Okay, so as so who you should invite. Okay, so see uh, how I put it in a sentence. Uh, I, did, I, I don't say like, oh, you can invite your relatives, your mother's friend. I, I will specify, okay, as for who you should invite. Oh, whoops. As for who you should invite, you can invite your relatives, okay? Like here, I think you should prepare. I suppose you can hold the event, okay? You are giving suggestions, you are giving your ideas. So you have to uh, write it like you, you're giving ideas, okay? So I suppose you, I think you should, uh, as for who you should invite, you can invite your relatives, okay? Your mother's friends and your neighbors, okay? So how many words have we written? Okay, we have written 70, okay? So 70, still okay, all right? But uh, of course, how should, uh, you can write another sentence on how you can add. Uh, what do you think we should? Because remember, we read a sentence, is his mother's party, right? So what do you, what conclusion, what short sentence, what final sentence should we add here? What do you guys think? Um, no, before buy, you can add one more sentence. Before buy. Like you can just end with a conclusion, like usually, usually, usually we'll say like hope to like like your friend here saying okay, I'll be waiting for your reply that kind of thing. Okay, your final sentence. But here, what do you think is the best way to end? Uh, a clue, ah, uh, uh, I'll give you a clue. Okay, you it 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 is his it is his it is his mom's birthday party next week. So what do you think you should reply at the end? You should, you know, what do you think you should say at the end? He's telling you it's your his mom's birthday party. What do you think? His mom's birthday next week. That's a very uh, important hint already. Okay, Evelyn, I hope you can successfully carry out, but I, I'm still looking for one more. Like, Yes, okay, I hope yeah, you can complete your mother's program. That's all right, okay, but, okay, so we add that, okay. I hope that uh, you can uh, surprise your mom successfully, okay. Okay, and I'm still looking for one more. I'm still looking for one more, sen like one more short sentence already. Because it's the mom's birthday, what do you think you should do? You as a friend.
No. Okay. Actually, okay, I'll tell you. Okay. So good try, good try. Invite him and stuff. Okay. So yeah, I, I hope that you can surprise your mom successfully because Jason is your friend. Jason's mom is the one that is going to have the birthday month. So you can say and help me. Okay. Send my wishes to your mom. Okay. So this is the one. Uh, send my wishes means um. 跟就是帮帮 Jason 会帮你 carry 你的 birthday wishes 给他的妈妈, you know like you are wishing the mom a happy birthday, you, you get me? Yeah, because it's a mom next uh, mom's birthday next week, so uh you 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 ask your friend, okay? Hey Jason, uh help me send 你的我的你 uh send 这个我的这个 uh 亲这些 um wishes, okay? 这些 happy birthday 的 wish 给你的妈妈, okay? So yeah, or I'm waiting for your invitation. Oh, still okay, can, you can be used, okay? But the thing I was looking for is this one, okay? I uh, hope that you can surprise your mom successfully and help me send my wishes to your mom, okay? So that would be a better way to end. Means that you really understand the question, no? and you really, um, like, you are really um, Jason's friend and you care for him. That's why you wish the mom a, a happy birthday, okay? So yeah, this is what I was looking for. But a good try, very good try, all of you who tried. Very well done, okay? See, we wrote it together. Um, you know, and we wrote about okay, see, uh, 888 words, lab, okay. So then, here only you can say bye, okay, or uh, uh yeah, uh, and help me send your wishes to your mom, okay. Then you don't have to say bye because you already ended like that already, okay. So you can say, uh, what, what do you think we should write next after bye or after your after your wishes and with her, yes. Name before the name, name is there's something else before the name. Chen Ming, this is Chen Ming, right? Chen Ming, ah, Chen, not, Chen Ming, actually, you're writing a name, correct, Evelyn. Yours sincerely, or uh, yours sincerely, okay, or yours truly. Okay, or you can say cheers, okay, or you know, yeah, something like that, okay, then you comma, then only write your own name, okay, so Gabriel, or okay, or Zen Yao, right, because we are writing for Zen Yao, Zen Yao, alright, so yeah, so, um, I'm fine here, blah, 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 okay, and I hope that you can surprise your mom, and let me send my wishes to, and help me send my wishes to your mom, okay, and then you end with uh, yours sincerely, or yours truly, or cheers, okay, Alright, you need actually this is your chain because yeah, or you sign your because this is a word document you cannot really sign, but uh because in in uh what do you call it in email also we don't normally include signature one. Our signature is our name. Okay, we need chain means we need name. Okay, so yeah, very very well done. Okay, let's take a look at it the question to see if we answer everything. Uh. Okay, so right, um yeah, yeah, Zunya, good job. Okay, so yeah, you uh, received an email. Okay, so she, he asked you, hello, how are things? Okay, so in the how are things part, we already say, right, I am fine here. I'm doing fine or everything looks good here. Okay, very well done. Then after that, anyway, next week is my mom's birthday, blah, blah, blah. Okay, remember my first time planning a birthday celebration. I need your opinion on a few matters. Okay, so number one, what you should prepare for the event. Did you answer that? So yes, okay, I think you should prepare a cake, some gifts and fancy decorations for the surprise party okay see so you answered that question already okay so then after that where do you think the event should be held okay so i suppose you can hold the event in your own house okay or at the beach to see the sunset okay so yeah we answered that question oh, we answered that question as well okay and last one okay who else should i invite okay who else should jason invite so you also gave him some suggestions as for who you should invite you can invite your relatives your mother's friends and your neighbors okay so we give normally three suggestions hopefully yeah uh, normally we give three ideas for each lah okay it will be better you give a bit more ideas okay so it shows that okay you really know how to write a bit and also know how to think okay so yeah uh minimum two ideas uh, i would say maximum three ideas also don't write too many ideas because you have your word limit right so i think uh stick to two to three ideas um for one question then it'll be good
Okay, so yeah, then you end with a conclusion. Okay, so uh, he said, okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you answer all the questions. You end with a conclusion. You say, okay, I hope that you can surprise your, you wish him well. Okay, I hope that you can surprise your mom successfully. Uh, wish ta, okay, and help me send my wishes to your mom. Okay, then ending yours sincerely, yours truly, all cheers. Okay, so yeah, write your name at the last part. Okay, so I think, yeah, you all are quite familiar with this already. Very well done. Okay, so yeah, we'll be doing this a uh, couple of weeks because, you know, uh, I think you all can, uh, as, as you all do it, continue with me. Okay, next time in the future, you can write the whole thing out yourself perfectly already, something like that. Okay, so next week, I would like to see if you all try again. I'll choose a different topic for you all. And also, I want you to like form the whole sentence out like that already. So like, for example, the whole sentence like this. I suppose you can hold the event. Not just say, okay, um, uh, in your own house, okay? Not just say, okay, in your own house or at the beach to see a event. I want you to create the whole sentence out, this, this, whole, uh, this whole thing. So that I want you all to train you all to know how to write a full sentence uh, well, okay? So yeah, because if you write in your own house at the, at the beach to see the sunset, it's, it's not... Um, it's not a full sentence, okay? It's, it's, it's actually wrong if you write that, okay? Although you have a point there, your whole sentence is wrong. You have to write the whole, okay? So hopefully, as we continue on doing this um, email, I would also love to see you all try to write the whole thing out um, and we'll discuss it ourselves in the, uh, next week as well. Okay, so very well done. Okay, so today we wrote about this surprise birthday celebration. I'm not sure um, next week what uh, other topics I will find. Okay, so if you guys have, uh, I'll normally see the images uh, for the SPM topics because I Google the images, then I just copy one, uh, copy one, what do you call it? Copy one image. Uh. This is a, actually an image, uh, not me typing out myself. Okay, this is, I think, one of the past year papers. Right, so well done. Uh, emails shouldn't be very difficult. Okay, so yeah, introduction, body, and closing, just like an essay. Emails is just a very, very short essay. Only. Okay, right, okay, so yeah, that is for the email. Okay, so this week's um, essay topic, okay, we will be doing a descriptive essay. Okay, so if, uh, I'll, I'll describe what the descriptive essay is, I'll give you a short break, then we'll come back and write it together. All right, so yeah, let me. Uh, just share my screen again. Dreampad, yes, correct, Zanyang. Hopefully, all of you are interested in this, okay? But of course, the Dreampad one, I, 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 I've written the essay myself, lah, so there's a specific pack I'm talking about. But you, yeah, you can tell me your own dream pads as well, okay? So yeah, it's, it's Husky, okay? So you can tell me later, all right, when we get into the essay, right? Okay, so yeah, very well done. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, look, take a look at what descriptive essay is. Okay, so um, I, I think you all know, know what, what it actually is already, yeah, but you know what, I'll just repeat it just for the sake of everyone uh, having uh, a, a, a correct mindset to it. Okay, so descriptive essay is a type of essay that asks um, a student to describe something. Okay, you're describing, okay, um, in Chinese it's uh, um, describing is the uh, right so yeah um you singing object right um a person a place an experience and emotion all right miaosu ah miaosu miaosu is also described right or maybe yeah okay so yeah uh miaosu right and an experience or emotion right so actually this essay is mostly uh, as, as I said, it's not like not telling a story, but mostly giving, you know, your ideas on how the thing looks like, how the object looks like, how you're describing, uh, zai, zai like, how it looks like, is it heavy, is it light, is it uh, shiny, is it, you know, something like that, okay, so it's describing everything, right, yeah, very good, okay, so attention to detail, so this, um, in this descriptive essay, you have to pay attention to a lot of detail, because you're describing, you're describing the colors of things, you're describing, um what you see what you feel what you touch as i said okay so here okay so um tips to write okay so think about your subject okay what are you describing okay a thing yeah a thing thing just like a tong si right okay so think about your subject what are you describing are we describing a thing are we describing an object okay uh, object is a tong si. okay are we describing an animal are we describing a car are we describing a person? Okay, so what is your subject? Okay, in this case, uh, yes, Cor um, Wilson, yes, you can go. You can go to the washroom. Um, actually, later we have a short break, so if you can, uh, just wait for wait a little bit. Um, 
before you go, uh, because I'll give you a short break uh, to go to the washroom and drink water and stuff. So I'll just explain this and then I'll let you go to the washroom if it's possible. Okay, yeah. But if you, um, uh, so DJ, when is dream car? Oh, okay. Maybe uh, the next time we do descriptive essay, I will pick up my dream car. Okay, so I'll, 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 but you know, dream cars normally for like, normally guys will be more interested, but you know, you have to, of course, uh, accommodate girls as well. But I, I, I'll, I'll try, I'll try to fit this topic in in the future. All right, so in the, the, the dream car one. All right, so yeah, the first thing think about your subject, okay, because today's topic we are describing a pet. So your subject would be a pet, a dog, a okay, so what are you describing this week? It will be a pet. All right, so that's your main subject first. Okay, so with that subject in mind, then you go to step two. Okay, the key to writing an effective descriptive essay is finding ways to bring your subject to life for the reader. Okay, so how can you um, find the ways to bring your subject to life? Okay, then number three, here you use five senses. Okay, as I said, when you describe, this is very, very important. The smell, you feel something, you feel something. Okay, you touch something, touch, taste, okay, you, uh, 吃到什么, okay, you taste out some more, right? Hearing, okay, what do you hear or what do you see? Normally, normally, easy, the easier, easiest uh, senses to describe would be sight. You cut out some more. Um, smell, you can smell something maybe sometimes, touch also, and also hear, okay? Hear, sight, touch, taste a bit more difficult because um, taste not every, like, 好像我们的宠物, right? We cannot really taste 那个宠物嘛, because of we don't have So taste sometimes you don't have to put inside the essay lah, okay? But if, if it jump, okay, if it says describe your favorite meal or describe your favorite food, uh, then you have to write a lot about the taste already. Uh, 要讲你闻到什么, Alright? So that is depends on the topic as well. That's why I said the first things first, you have to think about a subject, only you know which senses to use. Okay? 哪一个 sense 你要去用, like tackle 那个 topic. Okay, then number four, okay, uh, if you, I mean, if, if, if you're confident, okay, you can use figurative language. This will give you, you all um, much higher marks if you can use this, okay, in your descriptive essay. Metaphors and similes, okay, right, um, as deep as something, uh, so as deep as the ocean, as white as snow, right, uh, as the snow is a white blanket, okay, as small as a mouse, okay, as, 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 as big as an elephant, all right? So something like that, all right? If you can use this kind of descriptive essay, uh, descriptive writing stuff, it will be very, very good, okay? It will just, just fun, no? okay? So this is uh, the four tips, okay? The four main tips on how to write a good descriptive essay, okay? So yeah, all right? So let's get to the essay topic first, okay? We, we are talking about the describing your dream pad, okay? So yeah, um, before I give you the break, I'll just go through this, um, the format as well. Okay, so we start with an introduction. Okay, so in our introduction, we set the scene and introduce the reader to the subject. Okay, so yeah, uh, set the scene. Okay, where uh, you can you can say okay where are we or somewhere. Okay, or have a strong uh, opening line that grabs the reader's attention. Ah, right. So like um, imagine having something that is um like like for example this. If you are writing an essay about your mom, you can start with my mother is not like other mothers. She's a fierce protector. Women. All right, so be, instead of saying, "Oh, my mother is kind and 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 and, and nice and you know and, and beautiful," this is a better way to start your essay because you know every other your other friends also will start the same way. You know, my mom is very kind. My mom is beautiful. My mom is you know uh tall or something like. That. Okay, they are describing. I know they are describing. But this in this way, it will grab the attention, the reader's attention, much more. Okay, so then after your introduction, after you grab the, you, if you manage to grab the reader's attention, they would most likely be uh, wanting to hear the body around a, a lot more. They want, they want to uh, look at the body a lot more. Okay, so discuss your emotions and thoughts for the topic. Okay, do you feel joy, sadness, anger, at peace with the subject? Okay, what do you feel with the subject? So what do you feel with your pet in this case? Okay, 你会, 你会很开心吗? when you see your pet? 你会很伤心吗? I don't know. Okay, so write all these out. Uh, use metaphors and similes, okay? And here you start to use, okay? When you compare one thing to another. Maybe your pet, your pet uh, jumps really high. Then you can say, my pet jumps as high as a blah, blah, blah. Okay, my pet runs as fast as a cheetah. Okay, although your pet is not a cheetah, okay? Maybe your husky is, husky's fur. 那个, 它的那个毛, okay? Maybe if you're talking about husky, okay? 它的毛 as white as snow. Maybe your, your husky's fur is very white or something like that, okay? So yeah, so use this kind of, things okay when you describe your 
pet or describe the thing lah. Okay, so yeah, to show the reader what you think about the topic rather than simply tell the reader how you actually feel. Okay, and lastly, your conclusion. Okay, so your conclusion to so tie all the thoughts in your essays together. Okay, so to pow. Okay, pow, 全部 Okay, wrap it up like packaging like that. Okay, so you should tie all the thoughts in your essay together and do not add anything new to your essay in the conclusion. Just Evaluate your thoughts in the essay and wrap things up with a short final statement. Okay, so here in this case, you can write like your um narrative essay. We end with like a lesson we learn, okay, or something we learn or, or from our pet or you know something like that. Okay, just write a short final statement. What you learn, what you gain from the experience, what did you uh see you know from your pet, something like that. Okay, so just wrap things up. Don't add anything more. Okay, so yeah, of course, check your work lah. After you're done, remember to always check your work. Okay, have you arranged your points well? The first point is it more important or least important? Okay, arrange your point in a chronological order. You arrange your points um well. I, uh, okay, write the first things first, then second things, third things, something like that. Okay, then have you included all the good points and left out all the bad points, which um uh, uh maybe some points are 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 not not. Uh, they don't have any points in this essay, so don't have to write them in. Okay, so only include the points that points in this essay. Okay, when you uh when you write your write your essay. Okay, then uh, are there any phrases that are not very clear or sentences that are too long? Okay, so anything that you know uh any phrase. Okay, maybe you speak not very well, not very clearly. That's why you have to check your because you only know that hey maybe oh you think that the teacher will understand this well okay so yeah if you think the teacher will understand this well then that's a good job if you think that you know, there's there's still improvement that maybe um the language is not correct or the grammar is not correct so go and change it okay so yeah uh, are there any spelling mistakes okay you spell 错东西吗 alright go and check back okay maybe 好像你的 Gmail 刚才啊增加 right he he G A M I A G M A I L Gmail is G M A I L but he said G A M I L right so the spelling mistake although it's not purposely but yeah that's a spelling mistake so check your work again. Alright, and number five, have you used your punctuation correctly? Okay, so do you do you put chi hao? Do you put to hao? Alright, check it. And lastly, uh, are there any grammatical errors? Okay, so do you use the correct grammar? Alright, so these are the six points when you check your work. Okay, so yeah, uh, now it's uh, about uh, now it's forty eight. Okay, so it's eight forty eight. Alright, so I'll give you a break until uh. Until forty forty eight of um fifty eight, I mean, okay, Let's come back at eight fifty. Okay, I'll give you a ten minutes break. Um, wait, let me type in the chat. Eight fifty eight p.m. All right, so yeah, go and go to the toilet. Okay, uh, go and drink water, grab a water, and uh, after when you come back, we will start on this. Descriptive essay, okay, and of course I would love to hear uh, what your favorite pet is, okay. So later you share to me. All right, so yeah, uh, have a good break. Bye. See you in ten minutes.
All right. Okay. So I hope that um many of you, if not all of you, are back from that short break. Okay. So yeah, let's get um to start writing. Okay. So as um I'm not sure if there's someone new here. Okay, but today we're gonna describe. Okay, we're gonna write a descriptive essay on uh our dream pad. Okay. So yeah, I'll go on to write it. Maybe uh, okay, I'll write here. Essay on my dream pad. Okay, so uh, for the title, okay, we have to capitalize everything. Okay, so yeah, um, can anyone can can anyone of you tell me what your dream pad is? So Zunyao's one is a husky. All right, how about the rest? Corgi, a cursing seeds. Uh, no way, Shamin. No way is a duck. Are you sure? Like <laughs> duck is crazy. Like no, a duck is like very normal, right? Like no, it's it's not like. But <laughs> uh, do you say wolf? All right, wolf seems interesting. Wolf, right? Um, yeah, yeah. I think one of my dream. I like. I'm not sure if any of your dream pets are like a hedgehog, right? Uh, this was uh, I had I had one of these last time my house yeah like very very cute thing like this would, would be one of my dream pets like i had this lah then i it, it, it died <laughs> tiger lion oh tiger and lion and uh, wow ferocious animals if i touch it will go icu this this one you touch this this one you touch won't go icu lah oh hi chin okay uh you haven't touched this one yeah i didn't okay okay, okay. Uh, I, I, um, so yeah, no, no, um, okay, because like we are, I'm, I'm his owner, ma, so he like, um, he actually quite like tame, la, like he won't, he won't like, 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 unless like, I got him, like, for example, like, like, in the, in the past, like, or, 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 let me, I'm not, this is copying, okay, so very fast, okay, like, like, he won't like, he won't like, he won't like, it's not like porcupine, Porcupine another porcupine gun chang uh porcupine naga ju naga in gai hushing I see you uh naga ba tsi right naga to get shot had a s ha look on it how the high and how you like this is yeah has a no poison no poison yeah no poison yeah but hung cute or very small only like that like uh very very cute yeah I got this then chen bu can't see like siang so all of them look like look the same Wait, what? That was that's crazy. I don't know who was that. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you guys heard that. <coughs> okay, that that was quite shocking. Okay, yeah. So yeah. Uh, so everyone has their dream pads. Okay, but today I'm gonna write something that uh maybe no one has shared yet. Okay, so some say Scooby Dog. Uh, some say some say Duck. Okay. Uh, some things uh tiger or lion. Some things wolf. All right, wolf seems cool. I actually wanted to write wolf, but today I I, I wrote another. Uh, uh yeah so yeah today i'm gonna write a sea animal ah. can you guys guess what what animal it is a sea animal Zai hai de. nope not a turtle not a shark not a shark some some somewhat similar to a shark but not a shark yes correct evelyn i'm talking about uh, dolphin today okay dolphin uh, i'm not sure what dolphin is in chinese but i think everyone know what dolphin is uh, Right, okay, so this is a dolphin like you if you don't know what a dolphin is, yeah. I think it's very cute. No, it's not a wheel. Okay, hai tun, hai tun, yeah, hai tun, hai tun. Yeah, this is not a wheel, it's much much smaller than a wheel. A wheel tai tai, okay? This is a very cute one, these dolphins, okay? See? But they are very, very smart, smart animals, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna write about a dolphin today. Although it's not my dream pet, but I think they are very cool. So like yeah, I'm I'm just writing about them because I have more to write about them. Okay, so yeah, let's get get started. Okay, with our introduction. Okay, so for introduction, okay, um, the guardian. What the guardian? Yeah, the guardian. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like that. very cute. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just start with the dolphin. Okay, so yeah, so everyone has a picture about the dolphin, right? So I guess uh, we can start writing now. Okay, so we can just start with, okay, imagine. Okay, we want to try to attract the reader's attention as, most, uh, as much as possible. So you can start like that. Okay, imagine having a pet that is not like any other, right? Okay, so yeah, 
um, a dolphin. Okay, you describe a bit of the dolphin. Okay, full of wonder and adventure. Okay, so yeah, so imagine having okay, ni ni xiang xiang okay, having a pet that is not like any other pets. Okay, because you no, know, it's 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 not like any other pets that um like, like our normal pets like what dogs. Our normal pets are like um um cats. Our normal pets like maybe hedgehog. Even hedgehog is like considered quite a normal pet. Okay, so yeah, and imagine having. I mean, pet has not like not like these kind of animals, but you're having a sea pet, you know. No one really has a lot of like big sea pets, like like the most turtle, or the most a bit of fish, you know, fighting fish uh, or turtle uh, or goldfish and stuff like that. But dolphin is something else, okay? Having a pet like Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, that's creative, that's creative. Yeah, a dolphin full of wonder and adventure. A wonder here is um Jing Qi, right? Jing Qi. Right, Jing Qi. Right, so it's full of you know, wow, like you know, uh, wonder. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a very wonderful thing. Okay, so yeah, an adventure. So this, okay, this, oops, this incredible creature would be a true friend. Okay, and our bond will be as the as the ocean all right so yeah what do we do here we did a metaphor here right so as deep as the ocean okay so you're actually talking about something like dolphins from the ocean so a metaphor that relates to the ocean would be something as deep as the ocean so uh anyone can tell me what this bond is I, i'm not sure if i taught you bond before but this is not james bond bond huh? this is uh this is another meaning of yeah what what do you think a bond is uh, we, we talk about this incredible creature would be a true friend and our bond will as, be as deep as the ocean. So what do you think bond here uh, means? Just give a rough guess if you, if you really don't know, just give a rough guess based on this sentence. Don't know? What, how about the others? Uh, Evelyn, you want to try? Or maybe uh, Singy, want to try? What does bond? Yes, correct. Okay, it's similar to friendship, Charmaine. Very well done. Okay, a bond. Bond is similar to friendship. It's, it's more like a connection. Okay, so I think I've uh, written that in our uh essay okay our our vocab and i say okay so i don't know why this thing is is is, is vocab but here it says image um, so i don't know why okay but yeah so this is the first one okay bond okay is new new tie new tie okay bond All right so a tie a link or connection between people things or ideas okay so yeah you have a connection between like the dolphin with you and the dolphin so it's like a bit like friendship no? yes very good okay so yeah um so I'll write here, uh, okay, will be as deep as the ocean. So this is a very, very good metaphor to use. Huh? As deep as the ocean, just uh, uh, xiang xiang all right? Because the ocean is very, very deep. So your friendship in a, in, in a sense is also concern, concern kind of friendship, right? So yeah, this is our introduction, okay? So then we go on to our body paragraph, okay? So then um, we, we will now describe a bit more in detail about this dolphin, okay? So we ask them, okay, picture a dolphin with a thin silvery body, okay? That seems to glisten, okay, in the sunlight, okay? See, uh, right, as we can see in these pictures, right, okay, see? They have a very thin, the terminal body they are thin, very sleek, okay? No for thin is sleek, but I didn't add that in, okay? How many thin? So, alright, and you know, uh, we, we talked about, okay, and silvery, how many are like, uh, uh, yin se, jam, okay? Yin se, right? They are, they are like silver like that, okay? Yeah, like, like silver, okay? And then our third one is, okay, that seems to glisten in the sunlight, okay? Glisten is like a light, you see? 如果你看清楚啊，它的那个头那边好像很发亮这样，因为它的skin是啊 uh, silver 嘛, so it's like silver 这样它会发亮的. Okay, so glisten is uh in 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 Chinese is um wait uh, not like uh 
here. Okay, it's san sansuo, right? Sansuo. This sort of sparkle seems to like sparkle in the sunlight. Okay, now as you can see here, it's like very bright, very sparkly. Okay, so yeah, uh, so glisten is okay. Sansuo, okay, sansuo. In the sunlight, okay, 它在阳光下它就会闪烁, right? So picture a dolphin. You need, 你就叫那个reader, okay? 一起来 imagine. Picture is another word for imagine, ah, uh, okay? Because in the here we wrote imagine, so I want to write uh, picture here. imagine, okay? Dolphin with a thin and soda silvery body, ah, that seems to glisten in the sunlight, okay? So yeah, it's its skin, okay? Would be smooth and slightly rubbery. Okay, so yeah, it's skin. Had a skin, right? You can have a skin, right? 好像啊，如果你我不懂你有动过啊 ，dolphin 没有啊 ，but 很他们的 skin 我也是没有动过啊，其实 ，but 他们的 skin 好像很 smooth 啊，因为你看他的好像这样子啊 ，smooth smooth 啊 ，right? 还 skin 啊 ，OK? And like slightly rubbery, rubbery 就是好像有弹性这样 ，OK? So yeah, rubbery 就是好像 rubber 这样子，有一点弹性啊，咦那种啊 ，like 啊、呃、有有弹性啊 ，OK 有弹性 ，right OK 有弹性的 ，OK so yeah OK 啊、uh, ，slight rubbery to the touch OK， 所以你动它的时候会一点弹性这样子的 ，OK and it's designed perfectly for gliding through。The water, okay. So yeah, and here I'll teach you another word, okay. So design, how's it properly designed? 就是啊，创造 for gliding, gliding here. What do you think gliding here means? What do you think this word glide means? Gliding through the water. When you talk about gliding through the water, what do you think ah it means? This word. Gliding through the water. Anyone can give a rough guess. Um, you can just give a guess. You know, there's there's no there's no. I won't score you if you guess it wrongly or something. Just you know, try try out. Gliding. <laughs> it's okay. Just try. Just try. Just give a rough guess. Wow! All of you have the having a uh uh. Moving smoothly, very very well done, Evelyn. Yes, gliding is moving smoothly. Okay, so in Chinese, okay, yeah, we hear it. Okay, 滑滑翔 Okay, so it's like something that smooth and graceful movement of something often through the air or on the surface. Like we talk about birds, birds also glide. Like let's say eagle, right? We talk about gliding. Ah,、uh, if you see an eagle, okay, ah,、uh, eagle. Gliding, okay. So yeah, like that, okay. 它在那边滑翔 So in the same way, in the air, 你可以滑翔在水也是可以 So a dolphin can also glide, okay. So yeah, it's like it's 很 smooth 的很 you know like zoom 这样子的 okay. So yeah, of something through the air surface. Very 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 good. Ah,、uh, even in yeah, okay. So perfect answer, right? Ah,、uh, move smoothly, okay. In Chinese, 滑翔 Right. Okay. Through the water. All right. So yeah. Okay. So the the dolphin. So you hear you describe the dolphin. Okay. It's it's a very thin. It's a it's a silver body. All right. That's why it's a silvery body that seems to fallian 在阳光下 Okay. To glisten in the sunlight. Its skin will be very smooth because you know as the picture sees. Okay. You see you saw in this picture. Okay. Yeah. Like very smooth skin. Okay. And then, okay, to the touch when you touch it is very rubbery. Okay, and designed perfectly for gliding because its body is streamlined. Also, streamlined like the, like you can't get a swimmer 的朋友啊，全部有这个这个 body like is very. You know, your your swimmer 的朋友 has this streamlined shape. Okay, streamlined shape. Okay, like you know, yeah, something like this. Okay, because they have. 我第一篇那个还没抄完，你讲我去厕所了喂。Oh, okay. Never mind, Chin. I will send the the essay into the the group later, like a WhatsApp group, so you can always copy from. Because my mom said, "Want to finish it? No, not finish it. Can sleep first." Huh? Okay. Ah, you finish where? Here. Uh. Okay. 
，三点点，哎、欸，不是，来看一下。嗯，呃，因为等下我要写下下面，等下我怕他会。可以，这样子可以，这样子可以。OK 啊 ，OK，OK，OK，OK。Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. All right, all right. So, um, yeah. So, okay, yeah. Um, designed perfectly for gliding through the water. Okay, this is a streamlined shape. Ah, 等下去呢，我说好没这些东西。Okay, so yeah, this is a streamlined shape. Okay, so like like even a submarine. Okay, it has a streamlined shape. Why? Because it is science. Okay, science. 它的它的 shape 这样子，它可以更快，在在那个水 ，right? See like here, right? 这个是 bluff body. 这个好像很圆圈这样子的 body. But then streamlined body, 好像这个这个鱼这样子。Okay, so a dolphin also has a streamlined body. Okay. So I I didn't write streamline here, but you know, um, you can you can you, you I let you know what streamline is lah. Okay. So yeah, uh, for gliding through the water. All right. Then we describe a bit of the dolphins. Um, eyes or maybe okay. The dolphins eyes. Okay, would be like windows to uh into its soul. Okay. So it's a friendly. And sparkling with intelligence. Okay, as I said before, dolphins are very, very, very smart creatures. Okay, I'm one of the smartest animals on the planet. Okay, the dolphin. You teach them something, they will quickly learn. Actually, they are very smart, very smart. Like, really, really smart. Although they look like very playful and all, they are actually very, very smart. Okay, if you didn't know that. Okay, so yeah, dolphins' eyes. Okay, we see that dolphin's eyes. Right, right. Okay, 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 Right, so um, let's go back. Yeah, okay. So yeah, like these eyes. Okay, I like the windows too. So so, he he's eyes are a bit like ah ah like very you know like yeah very 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 like a bit like human eyes, a little bit like that. Right? Okay, like very very cute. All right, very cute and all. Yeah. So emo. This dolphin maybe a bit emo lah. See, crying like that. Right? Okay. So yeah, see, dolphins are very smart. They also can cry one. Next, see. They are uh they losing and and yeah yeah they they cool ah because they lose their mama see very sad okay so yeah so they are very smart creatures but they have emotions as well so yeah their eyes their eyes are like windows to its soul windows to its soul I I it's um for uh in Chinese it's uh ling ling hun zhi chuang right okay so yeah their their soul their 灵魂的窗口这样子 ，like yeah yeah you can it's like staring through a window, okay? So 灵魂之窗 ，alright? They are friendly and sparkling with intelligence, okay? Sparkling, as I said just now, sparkling is similar to glisten, okay? 闪烁 ，right? 闪闪发亮 ，okay? Sparkling, okay? So 他们眼睛也是很 cute 的 ，okay? Like they they sparkling 的 ，okay? They are they are they are they are their eyes, okay? Very cute eyes, okay? Yeah, you see that. Okay, so yeah, so uh, sparkling with intelligence. Okay, so you 看到他们眼睛的时候，你就知道他们是其实很聪明的一些动物来的。Okay, so yeah. Then uh, moving on. Hope that Chin is almost done with that because I'm going down already. Okay, so yeah. So after that, you talked about um what you and your dolphin friend would do, what you and your pet would do. Okay, your dream pet. Okay, so uh after describing the 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 dolphin, you say okay my dolphin. Buddy and I, okay, would have the most amazing time near the ocean. Okay, so yeah, 我们会有一个很很美妙的这个时机 because you know he he has to be in on the sea 嘛 so you have to follow him in the sea 咯 okay like Aquaman 来的 okay so yeah my dolphin buddy and I okay buddy is another word for friend okay. And I would have the most amazing time near the ocean. Okay, so what do you have to do? Okay, what you do normally? You, ah,、uh, we would swim together. Oh, let's swim. We would swim together. Um,、uh, I like to say a lot. I know some down back. Nah, man, that's crazy. I like. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. That's 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 not it. That's not it. That's crazy. Okay, yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, we will swim together. Okay, we swim together. So yeah, you know. Uh, maybe you can ride on the dolphin. You know, swimming, swimming together. 老师可以放下去哦，写好了。写好了啊。Okay. Thank you so much, Chin. Okay. So yeah. Uh, we will swim together. Okay. 
and uh, uh, you because this is a descriptive essay, you have to describe okay what you feel when you swim together, right? So um we okay wait uh, uh, we'll swim together before that. Okay, jump over waves. Okay, because dolphins, you may see can the dolphin as well, I say right, jump over waves, right? They are like jumping over waves. Okay, so um and uh and do flips, okay, flips to like fun to fun. Okay, uh, this, okay, fun talk, like flip, right? Okay, so flips in the water, okay, and do flips um, in the water. Okay, so oh, hi, Zenyang, welcome back. Right, yeah, so uh, just uh, just to let you know, uh, we wrote an, an, an email just now, and then uh, we are writing on an essay, a descriptive essay on our dream pack uh, right now. Yeah, so yeah, just to, just to let you know, I've recorded the class as well. Okay, so yeah, and do flips in the water. So, you know, dolphins also, uh, they are very smart creatures. They can flip, like, uh, you know, hamaki, tell some you know, do flips, okay? You can swim together, jump over waves, and do flips in the water. I'm not sure if you can see a dolphin uh, doing a flip, that flip, right? Uh, let me see if I can find a video. Uh, okay, let's just... Look at a quick one, right? So, uh, I don't know what the guy is doing. Yeah, so like, if this is like what dolphins are doing. Yeah, see? Yeah, something like that, okay? So like, you and your dolphin body will be something like that, okay? So you will swim together, like what the guy did also. He was swimming, he was swimming with the dolphins, you know? Like the dolphins was uh, is under him, you know? Yeah, so they will like do flips together. So yes, you can jump high one. Yeah, see? So like do tricks like that, okay? So yeah, okay. So this is basically you know, uh what what I'm trying to describe lah in in this case, okay? So you swim together, jump over waves, okay? They will jump and do flips in the water, okay? So basically, this is not the video that we seen, okay? It summarizes it lah, okay? Then um then after that, okay? As we I I said that we should describe more a bit more, okay? What we feel, okay? As we swim to swim together, okay? I would. Feel the gentle push of the water as my dolphin friend, okay, guided me through its wat watery world. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, you as, as you swim together with your friend, your, your dolphin buddy, right? So you feel the gentle push, like the water this gently pushing you forward, okay? As your dolphin friend, as the dolphin, okay? Guided through, uh, guided you through his watery world, okay? Because um, he lives in the, the ocean, lives in, uh, he, he needs water to live, all right? So we say um, his world like watery world because we are on land, we are humans, we have to live on land. So, you know, if you have a dolphin as a pet, he will guide you through his watery world, okay? Because, yeah, this is a very nice word to use as well, watery world. Okay, so yeah, uh, this is how you describe uh, a bit, okay? So describe what you do together, then what you, um, you know, what you feel as you do it together, right? As you swim together, you know, you can feel the gentle waves pushing you. Um, you can feel your dolphin friend guiding you uh, through his boat because he's very familiar with the waters. He will like, it's like his home. So you know, he's guiding you through his watery home in a sense, okay? So yeah. Um, then, yeah, and I, and I said dolphins are very, very, very intelligent, intelligent creatures. So dolphins, okay, are, oh, sorry, dolphins are known, okay, for being super smart, okay, or another word for smart, a better word would be intelligent, okay. So, um, my dolphin buddy and i would learn tricks from each other okay tricks something like just now what we see lah like tell you like talk back fix it those are those tricks lah okay so here would be um uh ji uh ji chiao lah okay i think ji chiao is a uh, tricks right I and mean, if, if it's not wrong okay tricks okay so let me say ji chiao lah right like like back plate like uh, the your dolphin friend will teach you how to maybe uh, swim faster. Your dolphin friend will teach you how to glide in the water. Your dolphin friend will teach you something, and then you will teach your dolphin friend something else as well. Okay, so yeah, it's like learning technique. Alright, technique, 
correct technique okay tricks is technique in uh in, 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 in bm okay very very good okay so your yeah, chi is technique la. tricks tricks might not be exactly technique but yeah maybe it's quite similar to the word chi chiao okay so this is um body number one and then you still have one more okay so um yeah i'll just write three paragraphs of body la. then i'll end with a conclusion okay so okay see after you describe the dolphin okay describe dolphin with um uh, that that you know the dolphin has uh what what the dolphin looks like what the dolphin feels like okay that's why i said very use the five senses right see you you talked about what you see okay the body that you talked about colors that you see you see that the the the, the sunlight hazai sunlight uh, right um uh, you know right because you are talking about what you see here then you say okay what you feel what you touch when you touch the dolphin we smooth and rubbery to the touch Okay, and talk about the dolphin's eyes, okay, what you see in the dolphin, okay, so you're, you're, you're talking basically the five senses that you, you, you look about, okay, then after that, after that, you describe what you do together with the dolphin, okay, you have the most amazing time in the ocean, what do you do, you swim together, jump over waves, do backflips, okay, and what you feel when you uh, swim together, right, always say what you feel, okay, then after that, okay, you so, talk, talk about a bit, describe a bit more about the dolphin, okay, they are known for being super smart, so you learn how to do tricks together, okay, so this is actually how a flow of descriptive essay goes, okay, so first part, you just describe what the thing is first, like describe its appearance, describe what you, when you look at it, what you see, then after that, you describe what you do together, okay, then, the next paragraph we will discuss about you know um what what are the cool things that um the dolphin has okay what what are the why is it so cool having a dolphin you describe the reason of having a uh, uh it's so cool that it's having a, uh, of having a dolphin so and uh, in, in the third body paragraph i will describe the reason of why it's so good having a dolphin as a pet okay so let's get into it all right so one of the coolest things about my dolphin pet okay would be its social and playful nature okay so yeah let me just describe it okay so one of the cool and cool the right one of the coolest three cool the don't see about uh, a dolphin as a pet okay would be its social and playful nature social just hands you uh humans interaction has you can hand and playful and i want all right so here playful is I one. Okay, because I think uh, I think a lot of people are I'm playful. I I'm a, I'm a very playful person. Okay, I want I want right? I like to joke around, I like to um, you know uh, have fun. No, I like to just go around and have fun with my friends. So I think it, it it's very similar to me la, a dolphin. Right? So a dolphin would be social. He is very social. He is very social. Alright, so it's very friendly, okay? And then, uh, social means friendly, okay? Friendly and playful nature, okay? Her nature is uh, uh, yeah, I think I wrote it down. Um, like, Bunsing, uh. Right, her her is like that, right? So, when sing, yeah, okay. So, an I want the the pen sing, right? Uh, uh, friendly the like, I want the pen sing, right? Dolphins are this type of people, uh, of of animals, okay. So, dolphins love, okay, being around others, okay, and having fun, as I said just now, all right. So similar to me lah okay so that's why I, I really like dolphins in, in this case because you know although they are sea animals they have the same characteristics that i have okay i love being around others i love communicating with others i love you know to have fun as well okay so dolphins love being around others and having fun okay it would be a great okay reminder to enjoy the company of friends and family okay and keep spreading positivity okay so yeah uh so it's a good teasing right a great reminder all right uh and how and how the teasing right okay very very good reminder okay to enjoy the company of friends because you know you you having a a, a dolphin as a pet you know and the dolphin 
loves to you know um enjoy time with you so in the same way it's a great reminder teasing you yourself okay to enjoy the company of friends and family and keep spreading positivity okay dolphins are very positive creatures as well so you know dolphin crying that because you know it has emotions and it loves to keep people happy and you know it loves to spread positive uh positive vibes to everyone okay so yeah it's a great reminder too for us as well okay uh, if, if you know our dolphin is our pet okay so it um gives us a reminder on how we can enjoy our, our company our friends company uh company in this sense is um did i have yeah right what company is okay company is like uh uh in chinese um Jitsia, like like uh no not Jitsi, uh company is Tong Ban like enjoy how the uh what do you call it? Mm. Okay, if anyone knows in what is what's that in Chinese, you can let me know, but I'm I'm still thinking of what that in Chinese. Uh, uh like can the time you spend time with them, right? Uh you spend um Okay, thank you very much. Uh Xiang Ban is it? Zen Yang? Xiang Ban. Xiang Ban. Okay, Xiang Ban. Yeah, thank you very, very much, Jian Yang. Okay, I think uh, Xiang Ban is company. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, so yeah, company. Okay, you get other time, you spend time with them. Um, you have friendship, with fellowship with them. Okay, that's called company. Right? So, yeah, uh, to enjoy the company of friends and family and keep spreading positivity. Okay, then, um, furthermore, Okay, dolphins are actually very curious creatures. Ah, uh, they find something out. One. Okay, so uh, my dolphin. Playful curiosity. Okay, um, would lead us. No, uh, gong. Oh, oh. Um, okay, uh, Kajen, this company, uh, Gong Si, I think you are talking about. This Gong Si, right, uh, is a different type of company. The Gong Si you are talking about here, uh, we are talking about here, is company is, uh, Gan Peng Yu, your fellowship, as said. Me, the Gong Si, I uh, project, this, uh, company here is not Gong Si, uh, this, this Xiang, uh, Xiang Ban, okay? Uh, we are talking about here is, you know, you make sure you are friends, okay? Gong Si, that company is the other company. The meaning of the other company is, you know, the business, the the entity, the you know, the the, the, the yeah, the business in a sense. Okay, Gong Si is that. Okay, so company has different, uh, 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 I would say in in English, there's you know, there's different meanings for that. And this in this case, company is 跟你的朋友相相伴这样子. Okay, so understand? Yeah, Gong Si is another type of company, although it's the same spelling, ah, okay? It's yi more yi the spelling, like, it just means the different, it means differently, okay? So, yeah, hopefully you get it, okay? So, yeah, and uh, furthermore, your dolphin's play, playful curiosity, okay? So, curiosity here means, um, okay, uh, I have uh, curiosity, okay? How qi xing, right, okay? And how qi xing, very curious, okay? So, in a sense, okay, it's, it's, it's a desire to learn or know more about something, you know? If you're a curious person, I think I taught you before curious as well, okay? You you want to learn more about things. You want to know more, you know? You, you keep wanting to know more, okay? So that's curiosity, right? So how teasing. Okay, uh, yeah, so your, your, your dolphin's playful curiosity is Han, I want, that's a Han, how to, right? So, will lead us um, to discover hidden coves, okay, schools, okay, of colorful fish and the secrets of the ocean depth. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, all right. So your dolphin, the um, I want the curiosity. Okay, um, conclusion is uh later. This is this is not the conclusion ah. Uh, it's just another paragraph. Okay, so yeah, my dolphin's playful curiosity will lead us to discover hidden curves. Okay, what is a hidden curve? Okay, I'll show you uh, a curve in the sea, uh, ocean uh, Okay, these are curves. Okay, ah, these things are curves. Like yeah. Like a like a small area with a lot of rocks. Okay, so yeah, these are coves. Like like a yeah, these are coves. Like yeah, yeah. You see you see this see this like 
yeah, I'm, I'm especially seeing this. Okay, like her uh, tongue, the this girl calls up. Okay, so like a lot of tra- like we 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 always say that the pirates hide their treasures in this kind of places, right? Like coves, right? Because you know it's like it's like a very yeah, hiding in the island, like that. Okay, so these are called coves. Okay, so yeah, so these are called coves. Yeah, very 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 nice places, lah. Like, hidden coves. Okay, so yeah, what I'm talking about is somewhere like this, lah. Like, okay, uh, cathedral cathedral cove. Okay, so yeah. All right, discover hidden coves. Oh, sorry. Schools of colorful fish. Okay. Um, school school puzzles to the shes Okay. So actually, um, if you don't know, okay, fish we, we call like a group of fish a school of fish. Yeah, if you really find the treasure will be crazy. Okay. A school of fish. Let me show you what a school of fish is. It's a it's actually the how we describe a, a group of fish, uh, okay. Okay, so school of fish. All right, these are a school of fish. Okay, it got hun da like very hun da it got it da chin the fish we call it a school of fish. Okay, so something like this, you know, like it got yeah like it got. 每次他们在圆圈的，每有很多很多鱼都在这样子啊。Like one one whole group going together. Yeah, all these are called we call these kind of things a school of fish. Okay, if you go diving, you will know lah. Okay, so a school of fish ah, these kind of things. Okay, so yeah, uh, schools of colorful fish and the secrets, okay, of the ocean depths, okay. So, um, uh, secrets of the ocean depths. So, this is that the sea depths. Okay, so yeah, the sea depths. All right, so that the secrets, right? Maybe any secrets that that the ocean is hiding, right? So you and your dolphin friend, you go and find that out. Okay, so yeah, this is um. So here, the first one you said. Describe the dolphin itself. Then you describe the activities that you do with each other, and you describe why is it uh so cool having a dolphin as a pet. Okay, so yeah, and then we come to our conclusion. All right, so in our conclusion, all right, so we can say uh to wrap it up. Okay, so to wrap it up, to in conclusion, as uh, another word for conclusion. Okay, having a dolphin. Okay, um as As a pet, okay, would be you know someone, ah, 还没好 okay Wilson, 还没好啊这样子还 okay 吗？还是你要来上面？这样子 okay 吗 Wilson? Okay, can I? Okay, so I can at least I can continue typing as well. Okay, so having a dolphin as a pet, okay, ah,、uh, would be like having a lively. And joy, full companion. Okay, so yeah, a companion. Yeah, um, companion comes from the word company, lor. That's why we talk about 相伴 So companion is either like 伙伴 or 同伴 right? 同伴 Okay, so companion here is 同伴 It comes from the word company, right? So yeah, that's why you have this companion. Okay, but it's not pronounced as Compa ah、uh, com companion ah,、uh. although here we say company right, but this is companion ah、uh. compare ah、uh. it's not companion ah、uh, right so yeah ah、uh, 同伴 right lively is ah、um, lively is ah、um, another word for yeah、uh, I think I'll tell you later okay so ah、uh, I'll be looking to it later okay would be like having a lively and joyful company 很很开心的一个啊很很很火热的一个同伴 okay so um yeah. Oops, I'm still using in Chinese. Okay, it's vibrant. Okay, yeah, here vibrant is the carries the same meaning as lively. Okay, it's vibrant, ah,、uh, spirit and gentle nature. Okay, um, would remind me to explore, connect, and. Treasure the natural world around. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, the actually this is all for I say, but yeah, I will explain the last um sentence. Okay, it's vibrant spirit. Okay, ah,、uh, I say vibrant is si similar to lively. So what do you think ah、uh, vibrant is? Can you describe? Can you can you tell me your own words? What do you think vibrant is? 自己的字 When you see this vibrant, based on this ah.、Uh, As I said, is 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 almost the same meaning as lively. So, what do you think this word vibrant means? 
before I give you the actual translation. Oh, you want to try? Okay, correct, Evelyn. Full of life, correct. Okay, so lively is something like full of life. Okay, vibrant is also full of life. Okay, so yes, very, very well done. It's full of life. Okay, so yeah, I think vibrant is our last. Uh, second last. Okay, yeah, then we have companion. Okay, so vibrant or lively. Okay. 充满活力的, right? So the idea of something being full of life and energy, right? You have a lot of energy, you are full of life, you right? So that's called vibrant. Okay? So we do. Okay? So vibrant spirit, okay? 充满活力的一个, uh, a singling, right, and a gentle nature, right? That's a, although he's very vibrant, although he's still very gentle. Okay? So this nature would remind you to explore actually. Uh, she sing sang, she she guan guan kan, right? Or connect and treasure the natural world around us. Okay, so having a dolphin as a pet also is set is a reminder of us um connecting to nature. All right, to to of course treasure treasure is um uh zhen xi right, zhen xi right the the natural world around us because you know we are living with nature as uh because dolphin is part of nature. Okay, so yeah, this is our essay for today. Maybe I would like just drag this all down, lah. Then it's easier, okay, for you all to uh, take a look. Okay, so yeah, um, so we we applied the body, um, the introduction and the conclusion. So we described our favorite pet today. Okay, so of course you can write your own favorite pets. Okay, today I'm just talking about dolphins. You can talk about your huskies or your ducks or your although like a duck is a very a weird pet, okay, yeah, but yeah, it would be it would be quite good if you can really describe it. I think it would be very special, a uh, very special art. Uh, uh, that is not weird. That is not weird. <laughs> yeah, or, is weird and uh, elephant is weird. Or oh, elephant is weird. All right, yeah, maybe next time in the future you can we can write elephants. Okay, but elephants is a bit too too big. Uh, I think to write about. Okay, yeah, tiger or uh, kajen tiger, dragon. Uh, but I think all of you, all of you. <laughs> Down a bit down. Okay, yeah. Dragon, tiger. Um uh you can write about no oh, dragon uh, is a bit is a bit weird. No, not so weird, lah. like very it's something big. Uh tiger, like lion, lion, dinosaur. Right? Hey, actually you can you can try writing dinosaur as a pet. I think uh it's it's because I said descriptive essay is all about creativity. You can write anything you want. We write about dinosaur. Right about um uh, T-Rex, okay? Yeah, 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 having that as a pet, I think you write like one body paragraph, then you say like, oh, the T-Rex gets hungry and it eats you. Like, so, you know, because the T-Rex always eat people. Like, so, yeah. So, you write under your, your body paragraph, then conclusion already. Because like, you you, 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 you died. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no, but then, yeah, you can, you can, you can write, you know, how you, how you try to tame your T-Rex, how you try to, um, you know, feed your T-Rex or something like that, okay? So good. Oh, uh, Zanya is changing his name to Z, Z, right? Okay. So yeah, uh, I'll give you all one, one, two minutes to copy this. Um, if you haven't finished, okay. Then I'll move on to the vocab, and then I think I can let you all go. All right. So I'll give you a few, few minutes to copy this. Right. If you haven't copied. Yeah. As I say this, um, I, I every week I'll do one, uh, email and one essay lah with you guys. So you know you can do both categories. Done, then you say okay, but wait, let's wait a bit for your friends. Uh, Wilson, are you done? Wow, Kajen, how how you see uh how you, how you send uh? what's that? Things oops, what did I press? What's that? Being super? Yeah. To wrap it up, having a dolphin. Is a oh, oh, all right. Oh, you, you, you screen. Oh, you, you screenshot. You screenshot. Okay, screenshot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's two minutes up. Okay. I'll continue on with the vocab. I hope that uh, most of you are done. Okay. As I said, you don't have to worry. Okay. I will send. I will send. I will send. 还没写完啊,你还有多少?差不多完了,到最后。Okay,最后啊,okay, then I'll give you one more minute. That's crazy. You all are playing a bit too much. 
<laughs> type a message here. Uh, reminds me of me when I was a kid, lah. When I was your age. Yeah. Uh, did you, uh, yes. Uh, can you what you mean by teach? Uh, wait. Uh, let, let Chin copy. Uh, almost finished first. Cause like, uh, no screenshot icon. How ah? Uh? How how you guys do that ah? Uh? The screenshot stuff. Wait. What is this? Hey, that's crazy. Hey, delete, delete that thing. <laughs> hey, Daniel, that's crazy. Hey, that's another level. <laughs> Man, you guys, done. <laughs> Very funny lah. Snip and sketch. You should know about this already. Wait, how how do you guys send the stickers? I I never tried before. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's another level. Daniel, send what ah? Daniel, send ah, send to Gary here ah. <laughs> no way, yo ah, uh, trolls, <laughs> man. Really, really like me lah. Very playful lah. Last time in the when I was when I was you know uh when I was a uh, high schooler, uh, I so used to kick people out from Zoom. Um yeah um, Zuling oh Zuling took a screenshot of um Juice Juice Bo, Juice W K L. <laughs> I think he likes uh the uh juice world as well. Juice was juice was RIP man, that guy. Um yeah, uh are you done, Chin? So I can continue on? Okay, gang gang hao. Okay, ah, gang gang hao, ah. Okay. Let's get started with our vocabulary. Okay, so uh tou xiang. Yeah, correct. Ta ta yi jing screenshot on your tou xiang. Okay, let's get started with our first word, okay? Born, okay, born. What is Bond? Not James Bond, as I said. No, not the name's Bond, James Bond. Okay? So, yeah. Um, Bond is new, new tie. Okay? So, definition, a tie, a link, or connection. Okay? When we call a Bond, normally we, we call it a link between two people uh, or a connection between two things. Okay? So, yep, a, link, a tie, a link, or connection between people, things or ideas. Okay? So, example, over the years, their, their shared experiences and support strengthen the bond between the two friends. Okay? Strengthen the relationship. Strengthen the connection, strengthen the ties between the two friends. Okay, because they have uh went through a lot. Okay, so it strengthened it. it 加强, 坚强, okay, so then um glide. Okay, glide is uh hua xiang, hua xiang. Okay, definition: the smooth and graceful movement of something, often through the air on the surface. Okay, as I said before, glide, glide. You are like flying in the air. Okay, so like like you know having having a smooth movement. Like I I showed you all right. The the eagle and the dolphin. Okay, they have they have um they have very smooth movement as they travel through a surface. Okay, in the air on a surface. Okay, so example: the colorful kite. A kite ah, like a the kite ah. Okay, glided gracefully across the clear sky. Okay, so yeah, when you play kite, you can see that the kite like glides. So that's called gliding lah. Okay, the the kite like travels smoothly. So that's called gliding. Okay, like flying in the air. That's why I say gliding in the air. Okay, so number three. Okay, glisten or sparkle. Both mean almost the same meaning. Okay. 闪闪烁, right, 闪闪发亮, something like that, okay? So, definition, the sparkling or shining effect of something reflecting light, okay? So, like, if, um, I'm, I'm not sure lah, okay, sometimes, uh, those bald people, meal tofu father, and like, they have, they, they are, they are, their foreheads glisten, or their foreheads sparkle, right? When, like, uh, 晒太阳的时候,会有这个闪烁的个闪闪发亮, like, for the bald, bald people, okay? So, example here, after the rain, the leaves in the garden glisten under the sun's rays, okay? Just like, like, like under the sunlight, okay? So, the leaf, right, after rain, tongue you know, say rain droplets, right? That's why Taohui, you eat in the sun swore, okay? They glisten, they sparkle under the sun's rays. Okay, number four, curiosity. Curiosity is how teasing, okay? Comes from the word curious, okay? So curious or curiosity. Uh, curious means how qi la, and how qi. Curiosity is having the heart uh, of, 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 of curious, okay? You, you're curious about something. So definition, the desire to learn or know more about something, okay? You want to about a thing, you in a sense, okay? You want to know more about things. So example sentence, his curiosity about the stars led him to spend hours looking at the night sky. I think I, I think I taught you these words, that's why I, I, I have one, uh, I almost had, I had a sample, I had an example sentence that is similar to this one. Yeah, so you're curious, you know, how to say about the, the, the night sky. So, you know, um, he, he spends hours 
uh, looking at the stars. You know, maybe how you think, okay, why are there stars in the sky? You know, how far are they from us? Why are there shapes in the sky? Something like that, okay? So you're curious about something. How tea. Alright, so we have two more words, okay? Vibrant, okay? Or lively. They mean the same thing. Okay? Chong man huo li de. Alright? They are lively, they are vibrant. Huh? You know, you, you, you have life, okay? Something that has life, we call that vibrant. Okay? Definition, the idea that something being full of life and energy, okay? So example, the vibrant marketplace was alive with colorful stores, lively conversations, and the smell of spices, okay? See, I included these two words, vibrant and lively, okay? So, the, the vibrant, like a market, like a pasa, you know? Chong man holy means like a lot of people there, like hen man, you know? Like when you see like Hari Raya, the soho, right? They will have like the, the like pasa, the soho, hui hen to ren a, zai bian, uh, jiao lai jiao chi a, hui uh, mai dong si a, okay? So we call that vibrant, okay? Chong man holy, you know, they have life, okay? Um, uh, with colorful stores, lively conversations, so you, uh, you know? Chang hua, no, Renja can Renja Chang hua, no, the conversation, you know, they have very um, poorly the like, conversation and the smell of spices, okay? Uh, they have a uh, spice, okay? The spice is like the smell, the smell, okay? The, the taste, okay? That's a siuda yin la, the way down, siuda yin yin, the like swan, the way down, okay? So these are spices, okay? And last one, okay? Before we end, okay? Companion, companion is tong ban, it's like a friend. Okay, so it's like a support uh, definition. Someone who accompanies or shares experiences with another person. Normally, normally, we companion, we always describe dogs. Okay, so yeah, as you see the example here, her, her pet dog became her constant companion, bringing joy and comfort to her every day. Okay, so normally uh, pets, we call them our companions. Uh, normally dogs, uh, right? okay, dogs, we always say a loyal companion. Hun. Hanika Han loyal like a Okay, so a dog became her constant companion, bringing joy and comfort to her every day. Okay, Tongban, you can also say your friend as your companion. Okay, someone who has uh, experienced a lot of things with you. Okay, so we can call that a companion, right? Com companion. Uh, it's not companion, uh, it's companion. Companion. P A, uh, not P A R E. Uh. Companion. Yeah. Companion. Uh, but it sounds like compare, but compare, like there's an R, there's, there's no R in companion, uh, okay? Companion. It's, it's just an P A. Alright? Yeah. So, companion. Companion. Yeah, companion. Yeah, correct. Companion. Hmm. Yeah, companion. Alright, so. Yes, alright, so yeah, I think that is all for the vocab that I have for you today. It's six, six vocabs, okay? So it's 9.50 now, okay? If you have no questions, okay, and you have finished copying, okay, you can leave now, alright? So thank you all for joining today's class, alright? So I'll see you in the next class. Good night and bye. Uh, yeah. Bye, good luck for those who have exams, if you have. Alright, bye-bye. See you all in the next Oh, so Chino was the one doing it. Okay, bye Wilson. Bye-bye.